Hi, I'm Shelly Jaronski. I'm the author of the Cookies and Cups Cookbook. Today you guys are here in my kitchen making my most favorite thing to bake, chocolate chip cookies. Everybody has their favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, whether it was their grandma's, whether it was the New York Times bestseller chocolate chip cookie. Well, I am here to say that I feel like I might make the best chocolate chip cookie, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I have a few extra special tricks that I use in my recipe that I think sets them apart. First of all, I use two sticks of salted butter. I always like to use salted because I love the sweetie salty kind of combination that you get. And the sugar that I like to use in my cookie recipe is granulated, light brown sugar, and a little bit of extra dark brown sugar to kind of give them a really rich caramelly taste. Of course, you're gonna need flour, about two and three quarter cups. You've got eggs. I use a combination of both baking powder and baking soda. I feel like it gives the rise of the cookies extra stability. And then the really secret ingredient that I use is coarse sea salt. These are the really thick salty nuggets. Mixed with the chocolate chips is the perfect sweet and salty bite. One more last thing that I use specifically in mine is I use mini chocolate chips. The mini chips distribute really evenly throughout the cookie so every bite has the perfect bite of chocolate. And now you're gonna cream the butter and the sugars together for about two minutes. So when your butter and your sugars are combined nicely, you're gonna add your eggs and your vanilla. So I turn my mixer up to about medium. So I'm gonna add them in. I add in about a tablespoon of vanilla, but I'm guilty of not measuring. Next, when the eggs and the vanilla are mixed in and everything is smooth and nice, you're gonna add in your baking soda, your baking powder, and your sea salt. Gonna be so good. Once your baking powder, your salt, and your baking soda are all mixed in, you're gonna to wanna to add your flour. Make sure you do this with your mixer on low, or you're gonna have a mess. Trust me. Just add it slowly as you go. Perfect. So now lastly, we're gonna add in the chocolate chips, of course. So when all your chocolate chips are added, what you're gonna to wanna to do is chill the dough. I know this is hard because you want chocolate chip cookies now, but if you just let the dough rest for 20, 40, up to 48 hours, it blends all the flavors, the salt kind of combines with the sweet, and it really takes the cookies to another level. So when your cookie dough is chilled and you're ready to bake your cookies, what I like to do is I like to line my baking pan with parchment paper. It makes cleanup really easy, and I like to use a cookie scoop. This one's a three tablespoon cookie scoop because I like big cookies. When you're ready, you preheat your oven to 350 and you bake them for nine to 10 minutes. Oh, they look so good. You know they're done when they're golden around the edges and they're kind of a little underdone on the center. That makes them gooey and delicious and soft and the kind of cookies that everybody loves. For more recipes like this, check out the Cookies and Cups cookbook. Let's try one. Mmm, they're so good.